In today's video, I have a time-lapse DIY for you and I think you're gonna love it. My husband built this beautiful small deck and I just had to capture the whole process for you guys to see. We recently together did DIY brick on the exterior of our home in a time-lapse video as well as a DIY gazebo build in a time-lapse video too. So if you're looking for more inspiration, make sure to check those videos out in the description box below. I'd also like to take a moment and thank Acquire for sponsoring today's video. I can't wait to show you guys our new water system on the exterior of our home and I'll share with you guys a little bit about that later on in today's video. Now you are gonna be seeing no brick to brick here very, very soon and it was because before we started that brick project, the first step was making sure we knew exactly where that base went so we didn't waste any of the brick. It can be really, really expensive and so we're really happy we went that route so we weren't being wasteful, especially since we wanna do it on the front side of our home as well. And there you can see the brick right there. Now when it came to the base of the deck, we actually used all of the wood that we've had from previous projects, so it cost nothing extra to us. And if you're looking for a way to be able to do this even more affordably, check your damaged wood section because you can find so many great prices there. And if it's a smaller project, you obviously just cut the wood down. And if you go to somewhere like Home Depot, I don't know if they still do this, but I think they allow up to two cuts for free. Don't quote me, I would definitely check your local Home Depot, but that's something that they do around here. So make sure you guys check that out. Now, if you wanna see what our gazebo looks like, I'm gonna share it very briefly right here and you'll get to see my kids riding around in the grass. We always love setting them up with projects while we are getting projects done too. And they were just having a blast outside. You might be able to see them in the reflection of all of our windows and doors there too. Now later on in today's video, you'll also be able to see how my husband builds steps and we decided to go all around the perimeter since we have little ones and we just felt it was safer and gave it such a homey and welcoming look. We really, really love the way it turned out. Now before we continue today's DIY project, I wanna give a very special thank you to Acquire for sponsoring today's video. We actually found out when reading our pamphlet that this business started a town over from ours in Port Towns in Washington, which I thought was so neat and had to share. And my husband and I were able to accomplish this project just in the afternoon time, which made it super convenient and fast. It was absolutely awesome to install this and I love how sleek the design looks. Now you just simply plug it in to access water and unplug it to stop the water flow. And unlike conventional brass hose bibs, the hydrant uses water pressure to keep its valves closed. And the unique design is extremely reliable and low maintenance with no leaks or drips. Now, as soon as you disconnect the hydrant, your outlet automatically seals, drains, and winterizes, which is really amazing when it's freezing outside and it's not gonna freeze those pipes up. Now, one thing I also love is the fact that I can use the hoses that I already own as well as my water nozzles too. They also come in so many different varieties for different home exteriors. Make sure you check out Acquire in the description box down below and let's continue today's DIY project. Now you guys might have noticed the brick is 100% complete since a few minutes ago when you guys last saw it. We are so happy with the grout color. We went with a bright white and this is actually a different type of brick than what is on the interior of our home. We used uh, the same brand of brick, it's called Old Mill Brick for our DIY fireplace, which is also such a fun video if you guys want to check that out. But this whole area of our backyard is brand new as of about six months ago. We had gravel rock here for about four years because that's all we could do at the moment. We were more focused on the interior of our home, which still honestly needs a lot of work as well. So we got concrete poured. Um, we originally, when building the home, thought we were gonna do a small, uh, actually a pretty large deck. It was just a little bit more than we could afford at the moment. And we decided the way that we wanted to lay it out now, this small deck was gonna be perfect. That way we could have a deck in a different shape. 
over our septic system, which if you guys are like a septic system, you can't have that over that. I can't wait to show you guys the video. You're going to love it. So the next step my husband did was he made the steps. This is probably my favorite part. And if you guys have kids, this is such a great idea too, because no matter where they step, they're going to be stepping on something safe. And the way we laid out all of our furniture, which is going to be to the right, I have it all styled and ready for you guys to watch as well. It's just such a welcoming layout and I love the way it looks. Now we decided because we were doing a, another larger deck for our gazebo, we wanted to keep this as affordable as possible. So we did this as the fascia for this. I love how bright it is and it just really, really goes well with that bright white brick color and I'm super, super happy with it. If you're looking for a cost breakdown, I'll do my best job to put the materials we used down below but we did have all of the uh, material for the base of this, the structure of it, um, in our garage stored from previous projects, as well as that fascia and the Trex decking we did purchase in a large sum, but I would say it would be anywhere from about $100 to $150 worth. I hope you guys love today's time-lapse video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. I'm going to leave two videos up here that I think you guys are going to love too. Bye!